This trip by the minister early in the new year is indicative of the commitment of the federal government to bring back hundreds of its citizens who remain trapped in Libya. Many who have returned have told tales of inhumane treatment and slavery. The latest move by the federal government was always on the cards. Last December, at the summit of the ECOWAS Head of State and Government in Abuja, President Mohamed Bouhari said this. I have instructed the National Emergency Management Agency to speed up the evacuation of all Nigerians stranded in Libya and facilitate their resettlement. The International Organization for Migration, the IOM, says almost 1,800 people died while trying to cross the Mediterranean Sea between January and June 2017. The Minister of Foreign Affairs is joined on this trip by the Director General of the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons and the Senior Special Assistant to the President on Foreign Affairs and Diaspora, Abike Dabiri Erewa. Mrs. Erewa has always insisted young Nigerians must be made aware of just how treacherous these journeys can be. Let's embark on massive awareness that number one, these trips are very, very dangerous. And they're getting more dangerous. And it's going to get worse. And the boat they use now, you're likely to drown. It is too early in the day to say how successful this trip will be. Remember, Libya has been racked by a brutal civil war since 2011. It is a country governed by at least three rival factions. Mr. Onyama will be talking to the Western-backed government in Tripoli to secure the release of Nigerian citizens there. There are reports of hundreds of others who have been held in other camps and cities controlled by rival militias. How the federal government will secure the release of its nationals in those places will be the ultimate test of its resolve to bring back and resettle its people. Shegu Jumu, STV News.